Okay, apparently we are live. Look, I've got a wine bottle in front of me. It looks like we're going to have a party, right? Let me find us here. There I am. Okay. Um, what issue there? I got the cameras mixed up. Look at this. Isn't this fun for a live? Like, you know, let's start live with a wine bottle, huh? <laughs> okay, let me... Um, Get everything pulled up here so I can see your comments. Okay. Oh, good afternoon. There we are. Okay. We're not um we're not getting drunk, and I am not Michelle, but um, I I I enjoy going on her page, um, and I enjoy helping her out. You know, she's taking care of business right now, so <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna keep her algorithms up, but um, <clears throat> I thought it would be fun to try out the wine bottle bouquet. Hi, everyone. Um, I know that for me, I've done, I've only done a couple of, um, craft shows and then I, I tried this, like in my local park, they have this pop-up, you know, these pop-ups. And as I walked around, I noticed that pop-ups consist of lower priced items. You know, there's lots of tumblers and, you know, the sublimation cricket stuff. Um, you know, and, and people at pop-ups are looking for, you know, lower priced items. Well, these would be awesome to sit out on your table, draw people in, and there's your wreaths, okay? So, um, hi, Deanna. <laughs> this was a little collaboration between um, myself and my friend Deanna. I will be using her um, clay, I don't even know what those are called. Are they fake bakes? I'm not even sure, but they turned out amazing, amazing. If you're not following her, she is Flannel Dude Designs, and she creates some of the most amazing things. Okay, so she's got, um, and I'm pretty sure she does um, a little bit of some custom stuff, because I requested wine and cheese, and I got wine and cheese. So, um, these are the cheese. Aren't they cute? I have the ring light on today. Tell me if it's too bright. It looks really bright on my computer, but, um, hi everyone, but... I'm hoping it just you know, is okay for you guys. And look at this. Look at how cool this is. Can you see the wood grain that she even put in that? And the little grapes and the leaves. It's all so detailed and I'm so, so impressed. And I thought these would be perfect for a wine bottle bouquet. I keep breaking up. Oh no. Is it breaking up for everyone else? I hope not. Maybe if you go out and come back in, that would help, but otherwise I don't know what to do. Okay, so I am by no means um, a floral person at all. Like, I know what a rose is, and I know what a carnation is. Pretty much it. Um, I, I, I don't do floral designs, but these... I mean, I am Red Wine Wreath Boutique, okay? If you're not following my page, as a matter of fact, jump over there and give me a follow. So, um, and yes, I enjoy my bottles of wine. So, I have these. The clips came from, I ordered mine on Etsy. It is a little choppy. Andre, what are you doing in here? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. Okay, um, I don't know what to do. Um, anyways, again, I'm Chris with Red Wine Wreath Boutique. I am burglarizing Michelle's page while she's off taking care of business. So, the one thing I discovered is um, floral design makes a mess. Like, I have pulled out a bunch of things, and they're just laying here, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with them outside of get them into the styrofoam. Okay, the little clip is just simply this little clip. Um, I used a piece of styrofoam and um, the way I did it was I just flipped it over and I pressed this thing down in it. Whoops, well I broke that one. To make a mold, to mold it to the shape and then I just cut this in half and popped right out. Okay? I don't know a lot about any of this. Um, to, make, to make these little um, things from Vienna I simply, I had a bunch of these, um, 
butterflies that I have purchased to stick on, <clears throat> excuse me, to stick on my um, flower wreaths. And so I always cut the stems off anyway, so I just save the, save the stems and that's what I'm using. Okay? Um, don't have a whole lot more to say, but I do know it's Friday. I'm on Michelle's page, so what do I got to do? Somebody tell me. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, whoop, whoop, done, okay? <laughs> Got that out of the way. I think that's a requirement when you guest host on her page. So anyways, <clears throat> you slide the clip over the wine bottle, and I prefer to, um, hi Donna, I prefer to do it on the bottle because I need to see what's going on. So, um, I had to guzzle this bottle of wine. No, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, so I did know that um, I danced, I danced. You all make sure you tell Michelle I danced, okay? Um, I did, I, I do know that the floral designs I've seen, you usually have to have some height, and, um, and then we're going to go from there. So I started out with these plastic ferns. I do believe that all the flowers that I have came from Amazon, but they've all been purchased at different times. I don't know what they're called or anything. So, well, thank you, Dan. I'm trying. I do have a pinch of nerve in my shoulder, so I'm not dancing too hard. Okay, so it's, it's going to be a little hard to see because I'm going to want to see the front, but I'll keep turning it, okay? And I may be asking for a lot of help. Like, the little thing that attaches to the wine bottle, they're all over Etsy. Um, I do know that Damon Oates um, Deco Exchange also sells them, so... Um, I like to go on Etsy and I look for the person closest to me because when I want them, I want them soon. So that's what I did. Okay, and now let's see. So I've got a little bit of height back here. And again, you, um, when it comes to um, the styrofoam and such, there's always a great option to put, I think, Dracent moss or some kind of covering here because we want to make sure we get this all covered up. I don't have any moss. so. My thought is, I do have these little, um, let me lower this down because I'm tired of looking at myself for one. Okay. Okay, I do have these little um, white flowers that are kind of bendy. And so I thought maybe I could do some of these maybe around the bottom. I can always use maybe a floral pin or something to shape them in there and maybe get, um, I don't know yet, I don't know. Let's get, let's... <laughs> I'm very lost doing this, but let's just start sticking. Um, oh, flowerbox.com. Thank you, Dre. Um, let's just start sticking some flowers in here and see what happens. Okay. All right. I do know. I do know. I like the ferns right here, although they're kind of poking every which way. But we're going to make this work somehow. I do have. I'm trying to keep this to a little bit of a um, purple and yellow theme. So I did try to do that. I have these little things that are kind of cool and they have these little uh, purple buds on the end. So let's stick some of those in. Like I know what I want it to look like, but I have no clue on how to make it do that. Okay, so let's get some of these in back here as well. If you go over to Ranch House, um, or maybe she did it in Can-Am, Can -Am, I'm sorry. But Dre um, also did one, a very whimsical one, at my request, thank you. And um, it was done with a lot of pics and swirls and a boo sign, and it was a Halloween one. It was adorable, absolutely adorable. I mean, if you're going to a Halloween party and you have to take a hostess gift or something, isn't this a great idea? You know, I mean, because if I show up somewhere, a lot of times I bring a bottle of wine. Why not decorate it up a little bit? Or and the people who can't decorate them, you can make and sell them to, see? I mean, a housewarming, hi Judy, a housewarming gift or a anything. After a baby's born, you know, because what, what mom doesn't want a bottle of wine after she's got a baby, right? Okay, okay, what do you think? It's looking okay, the little purple touches in there. Can you see okay? I'll hold it up closer when I'm getting there. I um, at first, 
and I'm just going to say it, be honest. At first I had a little trouble watching Drake because I was like, I can't do flowers. I've never been able to. But the more I watch, the more, of course, I'm learning. So, thank you, Drake. <laughs> I know, there's our shoogie. Okay, I like these. I wonder if I should just add some of the straight sticky things, too. Yes, a housewarming gift. That's what I was thinking. I also ordered, and I can't remember where from, but if I if I do, I'll, I'll post a link. A woman on Etsy had um, a lot smaller little signs that say, like, happy birthday. There's a birthday gift, right? Um, I keep freezing. Ah, I don't know what's going on here. Sorry. Okay, let's get some of these little sticky things in here. Sticks. Okay. That looks kind of cool. I also have a few yellow ones of these. So. I'm happy you're here, Judy. Let's see. Let's do a couple of yellow. And then I want to I wanna position um, my signs in here and see where I want them. Okay. How are we looking? We've got our we've got our height now. So so let's see. Hi Liz, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you all. So I you know I've left the, the pitch really long until I figure out how high I want this. I'm thinking I'm thinking about I'm thinking about mid-height, and then we'll build down from there. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if it's proper, but oh, that's what I'm doing. Okay, let's try this. I'm not gluing these in right now because I have no idea where um, placement is, and so if it doesn't look right, I want to be able to pull it back out. Okay, let's see. We could even move it over to cover the label just a bit. See, like that? Cute. Isn't that cute? Okay. Then, we're going to have to fill in back there a little bit. So let's do... I love these flowers. They've got a little purple touch to them. It's a little yellow center. No clue what they're called. Not a clue. So there's that. Oh, I like that wine sign so much. Deanna, you uh, you did an amazing job. I still can't get over that wood grain. And I'm, I'm halfway tempted she made the cutest little beer mugs. And you could put that on, you know, if you had some guy friend or something and, you know, he drinks a 40-ounce of beer, you could put one of these around a 40-ounce beer, you know. And you could put them around a tumbler even for a birthday gift. You know, wrap it around a tumbler. Somebody mentioned the other day a candle. I mean, it doesn't have to be a drinker, per se. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pull my wine sign out because I want to fill, I think I want to fill in here a little bit more in the back. And I'm sorry, again, that this is looking a little backwards to you. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm going for. If you have questions, feel free. The sign, the, the signs came from uh, Flannel Dude Designs. It's Deanna Davis. She's here. Follow her, uh, Flannel, Dude, Flannel Dude Designs. I mean, she she gets into detail. She made popcorn, these little popcorns. I could not have that stuff sitting around because I'd want to, um, I would totally want to eat it. Especially if I ran out of popcorn. You know, I'm really sorry it's breaking up. I don't know what the problem is. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm sorry about that. But I'm not really saying anything that is very important because I'm a little lost myself. So, hang in there. Okay, I don't like this one, but 
Let's get some going over here. I'm not sure if this is the um, the correct formula when doing florals, but I like height and build down. That's, that's pretty much all I know how to do. Okay, I'm going to tuck some of these up a little bit. Now let's see where our sign fits in. Okay, okay, nope, got that in crooked. Oh, maybe it's over. What do you think so far? How's it looking? I left and came back and it's still not freezing like it was. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I apologize. I don't I don't know what to do. Okay, and we don't, we're definitely going to need a cheese in here. Like, what's wine without cheese? Get back here, maybe. That's a little bit tall, so let's trim that one down. Or maybe the cheese in the front. Small. Now let's put the cheese in the back. I kind of want the cheese behind the sign. Fill up some of that space. Or maybe even out to the side. Nope, now it's too hidden. Hmm. Maybe one in the front. I don't want to cover up that sign at all. I just love it. I don't know about that yet. I will show you real quick how I um, put a wire because I, I do want to put some more of the cheese in here. So all I did was um, cut one of these butterflies wires and used it. I know Dre said they um, actually sell, you know, wire for this kind of stuff, but I was not going to go out and buy it when I had this. Okay. Poke it. Poke it right here. Let's see. Yep. Okay. A little bit of hot glue. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, that was a lot. Um, and if you could give Michelle's page a share, um, that would be great. Sprinkle her. Do all the things. We love her. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one now. Let me. That's oh, going to be way too tall. And when it's over, I'll probably take a little uh, blow dryer to some of this glue that's kind of everywhere. Let's see. If I want it. Let's try down here. Let me see if I can not cut this one too short. I'm wondering if. Um, I'm wondering if I forgot to change my microphone because when I first start out the live it um, defaults to my computer and uses that camera and I'm thinking I probably did not change the microphone and for that I apologize. All right, Gray, how are we doing? Definitely need more. Oh, thanks, Deanna. <laughs> Thanks to you, it will be. Okay, I'm gonna. I have to get some more. Um, to get some more. Oh, I have these little purple things too. You see how I lost I am with florals? I'm just like, oh, oh look at some of these things. <laughs> I don't know what these are either, but they're cute. Yeah, I definitely wanted to just um, keep the the colorways down because I wanted the <coughs> excuse me the signs to um, stand out the most. So. But boy, this is sure a mess, this stuff. As if cutting mesh and ribbons everywhere isn't a mess, right? That was dumb. <laughs> okay, this one's pretty long. Okay, there we go. I think these might be a little too big. Cut it off again. Let's 
see, I need to pull this line out again because I want to build up behind it just a bit. Something like that. I hope we're not hiding my little white flowers too much. Put one more of these. Sorry, I'm missing your questions. Hello. <laughs> How's it looking? Okay, we're getting there. Getting there. And I still have a little wine glass and some grapes to put in. That's going to be so stinking cute. Yeah, any any hostess, anything you go to that, you know, you need to take a hostess gift to or anything, this is perfect. Personally, I like to show up with a bottle of wine and then help them drink it, but that's me. So, okay, um, where am I going with this now? I do need to make sure all of this gets covered up over here. Okay, let's see if I put my wine sign back in. It's looking. some little um the little grapes are just adore I can't even stand it they're so cute so let me put um I think I'll do those down here in the front a little bit so does anyone excuse me does anyone think they'd um be interested in, in making something like this as a um oh you like my shirt thank you I need I need to get a um, make it like Michelle shirt because um sometimes when I guest host on her page I you know definitely need a shirt okay let's get some glue on this shorter stick here oh. it never fails you try to put a little bit and a big old blob plops out okay I think I want it to go this way and there it, these are um solid enough and yet soft enough to add the picks to they're so easy to work with they're just it, they're awesome they really are okay let's see maybe down in front i don't want to cover up that cute little grape and then you can bend them because they're wired okay there's a grape there we need something up here should that wine glass go up there I think so. What do you think? Wine glass on the top? Way up here? Okay, let's try that. Because it's obvious we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> oh. I've had I've made two two other ones and um and everybody loved them. I, I wasn't really marketing them at the time. But you you know said oh what a great idea and, and you know with parties coming up for the holidays and such Thanksgiving what if you had a little turkey Deanna what if we had a little turkey <laughs> wouldn't that be fun make one with a little turkey and fall colors and leaves and such it would be perfect and make a Thanksgiving one for the wine you take to Thanksgiving or the champagne whatever it may be. Gotta have a wine glass in here, my goodness. Let's see. Yep, nice and tall. Ooh, that's kind of too tall. I don't know. What do you think? How's it looking? Can you see it okay? Wine glass. Thanks, Deanna. <laughs> wine glass too tall, you think, though? Maybe just a smidge. I'll take a smidge off the bottom. But I'm thinking I might need a turkey. Yep, that's that's better. That's better. A wine glass. Got some cheese. 
thinking I might need one more cheese down in front because we like to do the three thing, you know. Or maybe not. Let's see. Okay. I do want to get some of these little um maybe maybe some more of these in the front. See, that's the thing with me and florals too. I never quite know when I'm done. You know, if you're making a wreath and you're adding mesh all the way around, you know, you pretty much when, when you fill all the holes up, you're done. <laughs> so, um, I think I'll cut these a little bit shorter for the down in front. And we'll see how that looks. There we go. Okay, we're getting some coverage. Get some coverage here. I can think of all kinds of them. I mean, what if someone contracted you to do a whole wedding with these at the center, centerpieces? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Sorry, I'm like in deep concentration here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> kind of liking it. This guy sticking out a little more though. Kind of liking it. What do you guys think? She's made turkeys? Well, why was I not formed of that? Huh? I need to see him. I need to see the turkeys. Okay. Well, if I have two cheese and a wine glass, that might be okay. Hmm. Is it losing its shape here? I don't know. Let's just, um, let's add one more of these. And then I've got to work on getting that um, styrofoam covered or floral, whatever that stuff's called. Okay. Right about here. There we go. We're kind of losing my grapes here, though. A little bit. But they're in there. They're like a little, um, remember how you used to like to look at look into something and just see all kinds of little things hidden in there. Are those okay in the front sticking out, do you think? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go with it. Okay, I'm going to now try a few of these little ones to, um, I also have these little ones, to just kind of go around the bottom edge here and see if we can get some of that um, styrofoam covered. Definitely moss would work, definite. Um, Andre knows all the hints and tips. Yes, send me pictures, please. Okay, let me clip off a few of these. And just kind of fill in, because around the, um, you know, around the bottom, you can certainly see the, the styrofoam still, so we don't want that. Okay, I'm just back here just covering this all up. Also, um, Michelle does have an affiliate link on her page. And if you um, are doing your shopping at Unique in the Creek, if you click on Michelle's affiliate link, and when you um, log in to your account um, and you purchase any boards, you will get 5% off your boards. So affiliate links are the bomb. So um, definitely don't forget when you're buying your boards to use someone's affiliate link. 5% is 5%, right? Oh, 
not sure I like these things in the front. I'm not sure about the see. I'm glad I didn't glue these as I was going. I might change those out for the little ones like I'm using in the back. Make it like a little border maybe. The white ones too. Just throw some of these in there. Here's another little purple one. And okay. Sorry, I keep coming at my phone. I can't see the comments. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for posting that, Joan. Yeah, I think you can get, um, the first time I only ordered a couple, but I think you can get like eight of them for 30 bucks or something. So pretty reasonable. And you're just using the odds and ends of your florals, you know. Um, it doesn't take a lot. So use what you got. And do not, as Dre um, instructed us before, do not sell it with the bottle of wine. You are not licensed to sell alcohol. So disclaimer there, do not. You can attach it to an empty bottle. You can attach it to a tumbler or anything else. But do not, do not. How about if you took these to um, the small winery boutiques, right? I thought they'd so good there too, in those little shops, you know, little winery boutiques. I mean, it's something, you know, people stop in to, to a winery and pick up a bottle of wine for someone, and they were like, oh, yeah, I want to add one of those to it, right? Okay, it's it's filling in, but I'm not I'm not thrilled with it, and I don't like where my grapes are. So let's see here. I might have needed. Oh, wow, so much for those wire cutters. <laughs> Okay, let's get some more in here and see what we think. It is getting a little tiny bit crowded in there. How are we doing? Okay, let's see. Some more of these little guys. Whatever they're called. We want shorter in the front. Definitely. Oh, thank you, Mary Lou. Thank you. I just wanted to um, do something a little different. And again, I, I'm, I'm dealing with some kind of weird thing with my shoulder blade. I think it's a pinched nerve. And so I've not been wreathing a whole lot because it does take over oh, here. Just some green. How about some green? <laughs> sure, why not? See, that, that is kind of the fun part, though. You can just, like, keep throwing stuff in until you've either overdone it or it looks good. You know, one of the two. Let's put some green over here. There we go. It's getting there, huh? You need a little bit more around the back here. Some of these little white ones. I mean, I, you know, there's endless possibilities for these things. I, I definitely want to um, order some more picks and, and, and whimsical ones and do one like Dre did. Um, with less flowers, since I'm not really great with the flowers. And more... Um, more whimsy. Whimsy. Hi, Regina. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by as I um, wing it. Wing it like monkey. <laughs> okay, I do want my grape in there, but I made this one. Let me see. I do want my grapes. Let's see if we can get one right in front here. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, there, he's kind of hidden in the flowers. That's cute. Thank you, Joan. Oh, gosh, you guys, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um... Do one more cheese over here. You gotta have your cheese, right? You just gotta have the cheese. Okay, here we go. See, I never know where to stop. <laughs> okay, let's put let's put this wire and this cheese. Okay, now how how tall do I want this one? Pretty short. Let's see. Let me see if this is going to work before I glue it. <laughs> oh, thanks, Regina. Okay, those three cheese are pretty balanced, don't you think? Okay, let me glue this one though. I didn't glue it. kind of excited about those turkeys. <laughs> what else could we do for a Thanksgiving pick? Turkeys and what? Hmm. I can't believe the detail in this, this wine sign and these cheese. I mean, it looks exactly like cheese. My goodness. you thinking? I like it. I would definitely about put one of these on a, a gift for a, for a hostess gift. Absolutely. I am going to add a few more of the small um, little flowers around the bottom just because I want to make sure it's covered. Just little bits. Just a couple little bits. Fill in a couple of these little spots that I can sort of see. These are funny, and look how quick it is to make, you know? I wish I um, could find the little signs I bought on Etsy. They were so cute. I have a little happy birthday one. How, how fun would that be with some just, you know, fun pics in there and um, just some good little birthday stuff. Little birthday presents would be cute. A little birthday cake. Deanna, get busy. <laughs> right? The perfect representation for my boutique. Does that one wine bottle look sad? I mean, the one wine glass? All by itself like that? Hmm. Um, you know, Regina, I have, we have been, I, I'm not going to complain at all. When looking back on my memories on Facebook, last year at this time, we were doing 110 and such, and I was literally dying. And we have had a week of just high 90s, so... I'm grateful. I'm not, I'm not going to complain at all right now, but I know it's coming. I know it's coming. You're probably going to send it up north here, huh? No, it's not working. I wonder if I should add that other wine glass up top. I mean, because no one likes to drink wine alone, right? I am a dog. My dog watches me drink wine, so. <laughs> uh, there we go. Hmm. All right, let's see where my other one, here it is. Hmm. 
Yes or no? Hmm. Yes or no? My shoulder is a little better. Of course, I'm not um, pulling pulling um, zip ties right now, so I haven't I haven't done a wreath. I think this is going to be cute. Okay, I'm going to do the other wine glass, but I'm going to do it a little bit lower. Look at this mess! Goodness. Okay. Um. Well, can I find one more butterfly? Now, see, I, I, I here we go. Okay. There we are. Now I need it pretty tall, so. Start out right here and see how it goes. Okay. Now I'm thinking just a little bit lower than the one next to it. If I get it in the styrofoam, there we go. Nope. That's well, definitely not lower, but it is higher. No, I don't like it. Okay, cut it off a little bit. Let me get this glued in there, though. Thank you, giant blob of glue. I didn't cut it, that's why. Silly. Silly woman. No, I really like this one. I'm gonna have to keep it. <laughs> oh, come on now. That's like attaching signs to a wreath board. Ah, there we go. Just what I wanted. What do you think? How cute is that? I think I'm done. I think. Yes, deanimate all of it. All the um, the uh, pick things. I don't, is that clay? It's clay. I don't know if that's... For housewarming gifts, exactly, you guys. Just all kinds of gifts. You know, a housewarming, um, you know, you're invited over for dinner and you bring a glass of wine, decorate it up, right? And then, you know, the person, I don't like this one, it's sticking out. Okay, that's all that problem. Yes, and um, if you're asking about Deanna, follow her at Flannel Dude Designs. And she's always posting um, some of her latest creations if um, Dre doesn't get them away from us first. I think I like these little purple sticks in the back here. I'm going to add a couple more. And then I might have to call it quits because I have a tendency to maybe overdo it. <laughs> yeah, definitely follow her. She's, um, man, she's made adorable little snowmen too. Oh my goodness. These, these would be great Christmas gifts too. You know, for that, and eh, you know, you give the, the bottle of wine to the local whoever, you know. Just so much to do and so easy and you use up all your old florals, you know, you just, and then I, you know, pretty much any, you take this over to a party or something, they're going to ask you, thanks Tina, hi, they're going to ask you definitely where you got it, and there you have it, you have orders. <laughs> Just remember, do not take the wine bottle to sell, though. You can take it to your friend, sure. But... Let me see. Are we working on snowman sleds right now? Awesome. Oh, I like the little wine glasses that they're um, different heights. I think I balanced it out okay. What do you all think? 
Does that look balanced? <laughs> You'd give a cheap one. With, well, hey, that'll that'll work. <laughs> that'll work too. <laughs> it makes the um, it it dresses up the um, the um, cost of the wine, right? <laughs> makes it look expensive. I think um, I think that might be that might be it. You know, and you can also um, you could do a small bow up here. Um, you know, just something really small. Um, uh, there's just so much you can do. The whimsical ones with less florals and more um, swirly picks and and such like that would be great for the birthday ones. Um, I mean, uh, can you imagine these sitting on your um, craft show table out in front? These are going to draw people in, and then you've got your wreaths, you know? So, um, I do think this is a, a pretty lucrative um, design, and um, definitely get a little close up with that. Those cheese just cracking up, they're so stinking cute. And the detail on that, um, um, the sign, the, with the wood grain, I was just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> the sign has wood grain. And the, the little grapes have glitter on them. The wine glasses have the glitter. The cheese, the holes are, they're perfection. I absolutely love this, though. So. Alrighty, that's all I've got. Um, please um, make sure you're um, supporting Michelle's page while she's away. It keeps, um, I'm not a computer expert, but here I'll raise this up. Talk to you for a minute. I'm not a computer expert, but, but it is important that our algorithms stay up. And, um, um, and you know, she's, she's been very busy lately. She's got a lot going on. She's very busy. We all love her. And um, let's do what we can to help her out. Okay, so you could sprinkle. You can, um, look, I'm still adding stuff over here. You can sprinkle her page. You could share it. Just a like. Again, I am Chris from Red Wine Wreath Boutique. And uh, jump over there and give me a follow, too. Much appreciated. I'm up to, like, 1,021 followers now who knew and a lot of that is thanks to Michelle and I appreciate it so there you have it um, I honestly if someone wants to go ahead and ask how much would you sell that for um, I think you could easily get $30 for this $30 buy them a $10 you know bottle of wine for 40 bucks you got a beautiful gift hugs to Rocky <laughs> Rocky's being a good boy thank you um, at 25, 30 bucks, depending on what you have into it, you know. Um, and, uh, it, you know, when when you're looking for, I know me, when I'm looking for a hostess gift, I'm like, oh, God, do I buy them towels again? Or do I bring over a floor, a, a real um, floral arrangement, that's, you know, or some flowers or whatever. This is just, it's fun and it's, it's attractive and it's um, different, definitely different. Okay, that's all I've got. I do have um, an adorable, adorable, adorable dog sign that I'm working on. I'll probably go live on my page, hopefully this weekend. Um, if not, I'm scheduled Tuesday for a doctor's appointment and hopefully get an MRI on this thing because it's driving me crazy. Thank you, Tina. Um, and, but I'm, I'm really itching to, um, you need to drink more wine. <laughs> Oh, you again, you can put it on a water bottle, on a tumbler, on anything. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really itching to get this, this wreath done. And the sign is absolutely adorable. So, hopefully I can be on my page this weekend to do that. Okay? Everybody send lots of good, good thoughts and prayers to our friend Michelle. And we will see her back next week. And I think she's coming back Monday, but she probably won't be live on Monday. But um, lots of good thoughts her way. And everybody have a fantastic weekend. Do something fun. Do something fun. Thank you, Deanna. I appreciate you. Okay. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them. On, um, she usually leaves me on her page for a day or so, and then it starts driving me crazy because she gets so many notifications. But um, <laughs> but then um, I'll try to answer any questions real quick. I will also upload this video to my YouTube channel. 
Um, I do have a YouTube. It's posted over on my page. It's, you know, Red Wine Wreaths. Um, so if you go over there, I'm slowly but surely getting most of my lives uploaded to YouTube. So. Okay? Everybody, have, again, have a great weekend. Um, I hope to see you this, this weekend, Saturday maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But if not, I'm going to get that dog wreath done next week because I'm just itching, itching to do it. Okay? Take good care. Be kind to each other. And see you later. Bye.